So you're the one Tianius has been telling us about. Interesting. You'll have to forgive us for the slight inconvenience earlier. It appears we were given a bit of misinformation. Slight inconvenience? What are you talking about? Oh shit! <laughs> he just <laughs> comes out and says it. <laughs> we understand you were visited by some Dark Brotherhood assassins. A regrettable occurrence. They are a difficult lot, but they do have their usefulness. I'm certain they will no longer be a problem for you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, dude, for apologizing for putting a fucking hit out on me. When we had last left the Nerevarine, they had returned with Beryl Zar's mazed band back to the temple, back to Almalexia, who after then was very grateful for the ring's arrival, but ultimately had little else for the Nerevarine to accomplish in her name. However, that was not the end of action among town, for just as that was completed, so too had horrific monsters burst and erupted forth from beneath the city itself. Yes, in the Plaza Brindisi Dorum, gigantic fabricants, beasts of machine and flesh poured forth from below, out from a strange Dwemer ruin. Bombs, umschend. <laughs> And so the Nerevarine was tasked to look into it, to investigate, not just on behalf of the temple, but also the Royal Guard. Now deep within its creepy metal halls, the Nerevarine was ready to continue exploring and investigating this strange occurrence. This is the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Tribunal, and it's also Morrowind Mondays. Welcome back, baby. Let's head on in deeper and deeper, right? I think we got a few respawns because as soon as I loaded in, we had this fucking dude, and I just dropped the metal, right? Probably because I'm disposing of corpse, which may not be a good idea here. Anyway, it looked like yeah, there was another super mech up in here, so let's blast him. Oh shit, man, that was really effective. <laughs> let's get some more going. There we are. Got him! Great. Alright. Here we are. Good. You know what? Also, in between videos, you'll remember last time we had issues with the voice lines of Almalexia. And for whatever reason, with this mod pack, they decided to include new voice performances from, I guess, modders. And I don't really like them. Even, like, obviously it's subjective whether or not you like the voice performance itself. Right? Which, personally... I, I like the original, because it, it shows, like, this cool lineage, because uh, the voice actress, I went and did, uh, did a little bit of digging and a little bit of just listening. It's um, the, the lady who does the voice of uh, Dunmer women in Oblivion. Really cool, right? There's a, It's cool to have that lineage. But nonetheless, the audio quality on it is way worse than the original. Like, there's weird peaking and stuff? I'm not sure. It's, it's really not great. I don't know... I guess you just if you just don't enjoy the original voice actress, then you're willing to put up with that terrible peaking. Eh, I don't know. I, I quite like the original anyway. Nonetheless, I, I went and I dug up the files, right? I was thinking, shit, am I going to have to download Morrowind again into a separate area and do it that way? No, thank goodness. <laughs> people, this, the game is old enough and people are wild enough that there are just voice files for everything available on the internet. <laughs> So I just download them and went, boop, put them right in there. Now, which which one of these fucking places should we check out? Hall of Whales. Why not? Let's do it. How many whales are in here? It looks like it's just a giant automaton. Let's see. Let's get these dwarven dar darts going. Why not? Well, spring darts. Fuck it. Let's do it all. There we are. Look at that. It has destroyed the hell out of them. All right. Good. I'm afraid to use it too much, right? Oh shit, look, there's a little man there as well. Let's get Gordon back out to give us an assist. Our sneak has gone up somehow. Alright. Look at how slowly some of its attacks are moving. <laughs> get him, Gordon! There we are. Woo! Let's see, what have you got? We'll dump the metal. There we are. Oh look, a whole bunch more dwarven darts. Okay. 
And I'm taking some damage. Oh, look, an ash pile. Huh. Why is that in front of this? It's like something I would do. All right. Have at thee. There we go. Oh, shit. I think I hit Gordon with, <laughs> with the dart. All right, Gordon. Careful. Oh, shit. I'm punching the shit out of it. All right. A steel dart. Pretty bad, but we're throwing it in there anyway. What else have we got? Let's just dump everything we got. Yoosh! There we go. Good. Take some more of those dwarven darts. All right. Can I turn on the lights here? Yes, I can. Ornate chest? Ornate dwemer chest, I should say. A color. Let's take the repair hammer and actually repair some shit up. There we go. Cool. Like it. A giant chest, or closet. Steel dwemer closet. All right. Ooh, spoiled Dwemer oil. Huh. I'm taking it. Weird that the... Oiling yourself up? Do you, like, rub it on your body or do you drink it? Also, how does it spoil? Does real oil spoil? It must do, right? I'm not sure. Fuck my... <laughs> my, my dad and grandfather did some mechanics work and... <laughs> I'm not sure if, if that's reliable stuff to go by, because they definitely used old-ass shit. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. It's not like we were exactly swimming in... Well, swimming in oil. <laughs> Alright, let's dump some more of this. Here we are. And let's see, Dwemer Helm. What do we got there? A bowl. And this steel Dwemer table. I'll take that little coin. Don't mind if I do. Here we are. And let's see in here. Ooh, look. A big old blockage. Okay. What have we got in this? Emerald, I'll take it. And how much does this weigh? Three units. I'll take it. Here we are. And we should rest. Here we are. Get our magicka back so we can turn the lights back on again. Good. Oh look. Some paper. More coins. Very nice. Pitcher, goblet. Alright. Let's get our super cool weapon out again. That thing is just dead and farting. All right. Have we cleared it all? No, there is still this. All right. What's in here? Nobody. Ooh, Dwemer airship plans. Huh. I had no idea that there were some in here. Okay. Old Dwemer book. This book appears to be written in an unknown Dwemer language. From the schematics, it appears to be a manual on combustibles and fire safety. Ooh, shit. You know what? Let me write this down. Old... Dwemer... Book. Great. Alright. Take that. Ash pile. What's up with these ash piles just as well? Huh. Let's see. We do need to... Buff ourselves up. There we are. Good. Take some of this. Anything in this? Can I loot this? No, I cannot. All right, fair enough. Anything here? A dwarven mace? A mug? Okay. And let's head on over this way. I think we cleared it all out. Oh, look, there's a big chest here. A dresser, even. Okay. Weird. Some paper. All right, I think that's all of the halls... The Hall of Whales. Let's head on this way. And let's check our map. So let's go to the forge, I think. Right? If I remember correctly, I was doing some cursory checking, right? Just to make sure we don't mess this up. And we should be fine to explore through all this. I forgot who it was, but someone said that we might want to consider heading right back out. Because we'll have to come back again here anyway, but I'm too excited to <laughs> explore. <laughs> we can come back and just run through shit real fast without killing it with uh, these strange memes. We are. Good. Get ya. Fuck you, the war for Cybertron is on, baby. What have you got? Lay that down. Another big blockage. Alright. Honestly, with the make of this, I'm surprised so much of it has crumbled. Right? It looks super duper reinforced. Right? Like, we've seen old ruins and shit made out of just fucking bunch of rocks piled together. This is like metal-ass metal. I'm surprised so much of it gets fucked up. Alright. Go on over through this, past the whizzing whirls. In here, what have we got? Let's turn on the lights. 
Oh, yo. They really are making Optimus Prime in here. Look at this fucking Power Ranger ass motherfucker. Damn. Oh, shit. Look, some massive things of metal. Some ash pile. Some old oil. All right. Let's see. What should I fucking do about this? We could ditch the Charwitch. We could ditch the Charwitch. Hmm. We could ditch this. Yeah, F that. Who needs that? It's just a greater one. We're beyond it. Look at that. My god. <laughs> Old Dwemer book. Oh, look. Okay, so there's multiples. Oh, this is different, though. From the schematics, it appears to be a manual on fabrication of metals. Huh. Okay. You know what? Let's 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 ditch the Charwitch Coninge. Coninga. There we are. Because we don't really need the money. How much money do we have? A lot. All right. Another old Dwemer book. From the schematics, it appears to be a manual on Machina power consumption or Machina. All right. And then over here. Oh look, a key. A Dwemer key. Okay. Is this like... They got turned to ash? <laughs> they got like... They got snapped or what? <laughs> Alright. Ew, look at this. Is this like its big power source? Yo. Okay. More oil. I'll take it. Look, it's big fucking hand? Yo. Oh shit. Alright. Let's heal on up. There we go. Cool. Okay, oh, bent probe, more scrap metal. Look at all these little kegs. Okay, anything else here? Nah. I always thought that the Dwemer shit was so fucking cool. I'm so glad to have it back in Skyrim land, right? Ooh. I really hope that Dwemer shit makes a reappearance in... in Elder Scrolls VI whenever that comes out, right? Okay. And from the rumors, right, it sounds like it will take place in a land that contains Dwemer shit. Wow, look at this! Do you think we have the key for this? Oh my gosh. Let's roll the dice and play the Dwemer game. Oh! <laughs> we won. All right. Let's see, what do we have in here? Ooh, what is that? <laughs> what is that? That looks like... <laughs> looks like a package of cocaine! It looks like a fucking brick! What is that? <laughs> A Dwemer satchel pack, like explosives? Like plastic explosives? What the fuck? A satchel pack of what? Oh look, a Dwemer jinx sword. Okay. Let's see, ash salts. Okay, and these kegs. Hmm. Whole bunch of weird junk. Take some of this. Do I need to take these? I don't know, maybe this is for, like, um, the other side quest. Look at that! What the fuck? A Dwemer satchel pack. Huh. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> what a weird-ass adventure we're going on, damn! Alright, down here, got another dude. Zoop. Got you. Cool. Alright, let's take that Dwarven dart. Oops, accidentally threw another one. Collapsed rocks. Oh, I think this is... This is what I had heard of. Let's see here. Yep, we can't interact with that. Okay, cool. So we made it to the end of this section. We'll be back, though. And I did put the satchel blocks up there. You know what? Maybe we should just walk out with it, right? And we can lay it down in the plaza. That way it's a little bit easier to access. Why not? All right. Let's fortify our strength for a couple of mins. There we are. Perfect. Alright. Let's haul ass out of here. Let's make sure we're headed the right direction. There we are. Passage of Whispers. Great. There we go. Look at this. You know, I was looking at some of the promotional material for a Tribunal, and apparently, I think it was on... Fuck, I can't even remember. But on some of the promotional material, I think it was on the back of the expansion box itself or something, they touted there being, like, massive, epic-sized dungeons or whatever. Something along those lines. And damn if they aren't right. <laughs> there are very few dungeons in this, but all of them are titanic. Right? This is probably, like, the biggest Dwemer ruin in all of Morrowind, right? It might be. 
I think it... I think it is. I'm not sure. Certainly as far as, like, space that it takes up. Like, damn. I mean, there, there are a few in... toward, like, the endgame areas of the core game that are pretty damn huge. There we go. Take care of this guy. But certainly the... fucking old Mornholt sewers are gigantic. Good lord. The final area, I'm pretty sure, is gigantic just as well. All right, let's check out the Hall of Winds real quick. Uh-oh, Optimus Prime is here and he's mad. There we go. I'll take his little unit there. Good. Gordon, to me. All right, get him. Got you. What is all this? A whole shitload of spoiled oil. Huh. Oh, look, another chest. Ooh, okay. I actually do have to break into it. Let's see. Let us get our journeyman's probe. There we are. Anything else that needs probing? An old Dwemer book. From the schematics, it appears to be a manual on cog replacement and maintenance. Huh. Okay, anything else here? Looks like old picks and probes. Let's see. Let's also restore some magicka a bit. There we are. Yeah, look at all this shit. Huh. Okay, got the little tubes. Oh, look. Yeah, this was totally a guy. Oh, look. His money fell on the ground, too. I would have never seen that. Okay. Weird. Got a poop bucket? Yo, he was just there pooping. <laughs> what if the Dwemer just in their, like, weird little shop pooping? What the hell? All right. Let's see. Another old book? From the schematics, it appears to be a manual on pipe fitting. Okay. Yeah, look at shit ton of pipes. Someone else over here, reading that schematic. Okay. Let's actually pick into this. Let's see... Here we are. Lockpick. Whip it out, and... Look! Another satchel pack! Huh. You know what, let's just place them here. Fuck it. We're probably gonna have to come back for certain. Look, that's an easy enough area. Alright. Let's check in here. Got more metal, metal. Oh, a ruby. I'll take that. There we are. Good. Okay. Let's go on over this way. Heavy Dwemer door. Ooh, look at this cool looking shit. Oh god, there's something in here? Who is in here? Or maybe someone out by Gordon. Oh, yep, someone by Gordon. Alright, Gordon. Let's get him. Huh. There we are. Get your ass. One more. Good. Look at that. Oh, man. Got a whole lot of units back there. Okay. Let's turn on the lights here. Examine this room. Well, have we got another old Dwemer book. It appears to be a manual on machinery maintenance. I think we'd seen that one before, though, haven't we? You know what? This acrobat stuff is not half bad, right? Like, you could just drink a shitload of them and be able to recoup over the health loss, couldn't you? Huh. Things to consider. Alright, you know what? Maybe we should ditch some of these ship hammers, right? Because if we drop one, or if we drop two of them, we'll be able to move around. That said, maybe we should get rid of some of these heavy-ass probes and stuff. Look at this. They're heavy as shit. Like these old lockpicks and everything? Maybe we get rid of them. F them. Alright. Here we are. Let's see, what else can we ditch? Now, let's treat some Flynn again. Take some gems, why not? I cannot help myself, we don't even need them, but I want them. Alright. Oh, look. Cylinder plugged right in. Alright. What's up in here? This is another similar, like, look at this, the Hall of Winds. I mean, it's hardly a hall, right? <laughs> but it's very similar to the other section, the other wing that we were in. Right? With the design of it. Okay, an empty keg. Good. Oh, shit. Ugh, it was haunted. Okay, over here. What have we got? Oh, there's a dude back here. Let's get him. Here we are. Good. And one more. Great. Whew. Okay, let's get that woot loot. Good, good, good. Look at this, just giving off a shitload of steam. So cool. 
Okay. Great. Let's pop this. And on through here. Hearthfire Hall. That's back the way we came, though, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Great. I think we've explored it all. Yeah, I think we hit everything. Oh, no, wait. Iron Bolt. Dwarven Crossbow. Huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think we did hit everything. Alright. Dope, dope, dope. Let's get on out of here. We'll head on back. There we are. And there's also... I made sure to double-check on this as well. Like I said, I was double-checking shit. There is an optional thing that we can do here, and we should do it. Right? I think you you can check in with Tienius Delician and the Royal Guard here. There's like an optional couple of quests that you can partake in. All right. Let's see. We should drop some shit. That way we can just maneuver around normally. Right? What should we drop? Hmm. We could dump some of these darts, right? We could dump them. That said, we could also just dump a armorer's hammer. Let's do that. There. All right. Let's see. Let's check our journal. I have witnessed Dwemer constructs and these mysterious new fabricant creatures battling in the ruins of Bombs Amshin. The Dwemer creatures seem to be defending the ruins against the intruding constructs. Their origin is still a mystery to me, but it is clear that they are not of Dwemer make. I should report my findings immediately. Hmm. Very suspicious. All right. Let's see. Do you have Good anything to, see to say? You again, oh friend. my god. <laughs> I was just doing a little writing. Okay, what's up, dude? Let's see. Do you have anything new? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think any of that's new. Okay. Let's see. Let's head over to Tienius. Let's Whatever go over here. Want. Reception area, I think. All right. And then... Whoops. Over Just this way. Oh, shit. Sleep. We're still over-encumbered. Let's drink the last Flynn. And there we go. We'll be fine now. Okay. Let's head on up and over here. Royal Palace throne room. There we are. Good. All right. Man, look at who's fucking here, huh? At long last. Finally out. Okay. Let's do a quick save. We should speak with Tianius Our first, however. And well deserved. Oh, shit. What's up, Tianius? Well, have you been able to investigate the disturbance? I have. The Dwemer constructs were fighting these fabricants. This situation gets more and more disturbing to me. Your effort has been appreciated, though, Lyle. In fact, I believe the king himself would like to speak with you. Oh, shit. Investigate the disturbance. That's been taken care of. Anything else? Anything about Helseth now that he's right there? Nah, I don't think so. Okay, the common tongue. Alright. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Hey, Helseth. Look, he's got like a custom head and everything, huh? Your he loyal oh. service shall be rewarded. Oh, shit. It's old, um, what's his name? Charles Baker, I think, is the one who does the voices for all of Dunmer. And, and ghouls as well. Alright. Let's see. Ghouls of Fallout. King Hlalu Helseth. Ah, so you're the one Tianius has been telling us about. Interesting. You'll have to forgive us for the slight inconvenience earlier. It appears we were given a bit of misinformation. Slight inconvenience? What are you talking about? Oh, shit! <laughs> He just <laughs> comes out and says it. <laughs> we understand you were visited by some Dark Brotherhood assassins. A regrettable occurrence. They are a difficult lot, but they do have their usefulness. I'm certain they will no longer be a problem for you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, dude, for apologizing for putting a fucking hit out on me. Jesus. <laughs> a bit of misinformation? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have various sources throughout Vardenfell that are paid well to provide us with information. Unfortunately, it proves to be... Unfortunately, sometimes it proves to be incorrect. One of our informants had suggested that you pose a threat to our monarchy. That cannot be allowed, as I'm sure you understand. Who? Who the fuck ratted me out? 
Who the fuck was it? Fucking Fargoth, I bet. Jesus, I could see that little weasel being a fucking informant. Fucking shit. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's ask about the Dark Brotherhood, see what he has to say. They are usually a very effective group. Not always, though, as I have recently learned, because they didn't kill you. <laughs> Alright, threat to our monarchy. It is never easy for one to assume the throne, especially after the unfortunate set of circumstances that led to our beloved King Lathan's death. There are those who would seek to profit from such events, to take the opportunity to create unrest among the temple. There are those even who would wish to see us dead. King Lathan's death, tell me more about that. May his spirit rest among his ancestors. We did all that could be done for him, but in the end, he seemed to have lost his will to live. He was a great man, and me, we mourn his loss. All right, see us dead. Maybe they'll say the same about me. <laughs> they, they were gonna say that was the exact same shit they were gonna say about the Nerevine if, if the Dark Brotherhood had their way. <laughs> uh, see us dead. Does it surprise you? Even now, there are those that would see our head on a pike. What better way to achieve one's goals than to have others remove those that would oppose you? Surely you have some understanding of this. In fact, we have recently been told of a plot against the throne. Some understanding? I assume you've heard of the Murak Tong and of the Dark Brotherhood. They have their purpose in Morrowind. Oh, is he implying that he knows that I'm a member? Or maybe that's just... That's just him acknowledging, like, yeah, the Dark Brotherhood. You're familiar with them. All right. Let's see, how about plot? Tell me about this plot. Some of my informants have learned of a possible assassination plot against our royal person. I would like more information on this, however. I do not want to compromise the safety of my guards or of my informant. I believe, however, you would be suitable for this matter. But shit, you fucking call out a hit on me on just a hunch? <laughs> Just, whoops, we made a mistake. However, here, I am not willing to make a compromise on this. But you, the Neverine, you know, reincarnated hero, eh, who gives a shit? <laughs> All right, let's see, this matter. I wish for you to meet an informant of mine at a local corner club, the Winged Guar. You'll find it in God's reach. He's an orc and shouldn't be hard to pick out. Find him and ask him about his uncle's farm. He'll know what it means. Then report back to me with your information. His uncle's farm? Just ask him about it. <laughs> right. I'm Alexia. We want to ask him about everything, I think. The goddess lives in her temple here in Mournhold. She surrounds herself with her priest and guards and rarely ventures from her chapel anymore. Baron Zaya, your mother. She is the Queen Mother of Mournhold, our royal mother. Queen Mother. You know, of course, Queen Baron Zaya of Queen Baron Zaya. We returned to Mournhold together after the unpleasantness in Wayrest. An amazing woman, our mother, not one to be taken lightly. Not much happens in Mournhold that she is not aware of. She is a valuable asset to us. Let's see, a bit of Fedris Hlur. Many sources tell me that Hlur is the leader of the hands of Almalaxia. This makes him a potentially dangerous man or a valuable ally. Okay, and Gavis Drin? Drin is Almalaxia's Lord Archcanon. I distrust him, but he is directly under the goddess's protection. All right, and Helsith, how about yourself? I am King Hlalu Helsith, ruler of all of Morrowind. Of all Morrowind. All right, and High Ordinators, what do you think about them? The goddesses henchmen. They consider themselves a sacred order, but they are nothing more than religious zealots and thugs. Let's see. King Lethin's death. May his spirit... No, we already read that. Latest rumors. The situation in Plaza Brindisi Dorum is under control. But you... But... 
you were there, I guess. I've heard it was pretty terrible. All right, and how big is Mornhold actually supposed to be? Like, this makes it sound like, although this is, like, not even a minute away from Plaza Brindisi Dorum, like, canonically, is Mornhold supposed to be freaking massive and, like, that would be like a half-hour jaunt at least across the city? Right? Maybe? I could see that. Okay. Nervreen, what do you think about me? I know all about you and the prophecies, and I know the temple's position on the matter. My policy is to avoid involving the government in temple matters wherever possible. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right. And how about the Royal Guard, your folks? They are my personal guard, loyal only to me. I chose them myself, selecting only the most loyal and skilled warriors from all of Tamriel. Okay, how about so the Sil? One of the tribunal. None have seen the tinkerer in centuries, from what I understand. I distrust these man-gods, especially ones I cannot find. Okay, and how about Talon Vondas? Who is that? A shame what happened to that man. He would have made an excellent advisor for me. Killed on a hunting trip. Psst, he should have been more careful. Oh shit, Are, was he one of the conspirators? Huh. I'm assuming he knows and this is just like his alibi for not knowing, like this is just his story about what happened. Especially given the tisk right there. Huh. Cause surely he's not actually, like Tianius didn't keep it from him. I'm assuming he would know. All right. Let's see, threat to the monarchy. Any threat will be dealt with quickly and severely. Cool, great. <laughs> Let's see, this matter. Uncle's farm. All right, what do you think of Tianius? He's right over there. Tianius has been our friend and advisor for many years. I trust the man with my life. All right. Very interesting. I think we got everything out of him. Almalexi as well. Yeah, we did. Okay. Very fascinating stuff. I do like that no one is is all that great, right? <laughs> this is a situation where it's like, yeah, he's really not, like, super cool, is he? <laughs> all right. Let's head on out. We should head over to the Winged Guar, right? Yeah. All right. Let's head on over. Back at the... Justice at God's Reach, right? Wasn't it? Okay, Courtyard. And let's go over to Temple Courtyard. Why not? And we'll head out the rest of the way there. Good. Okay, God's Reach is over on the left. Good, good, good. Let's head on over. Take a peek. And we'll see. Alright. Here we are. Let's do a quick save just in case. Alright. You know, with how big Bomb's Amshin is, I'm surprised the fabricants and shit didn't burst out from multiple places. But only at the... at the statue, huh? Isn't that weird? Isn't that such a strange thing that they did that? <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Where is the Winged Guard? Isn't this it? The bar that we were in earlier? Yes, it is. Alright. Let's see. We're looking for an orc informant. I like how he doesn't even tell us his fucking name. <laughs> I wonder if he even knows his name. Alright. Nobody up top except for pants from someone, or a common robe from someone who used to be there. I wonder where All they right, went. I'm intrigued. It's a shame they got killed Go on a hunting ahead. mission. <laughs> or a hunting trip. Alright. Let's see. This dude? Bach Greetings, Roshan? friend to friend. May fortune be with you. All right. What do you... <laughs> no. What do you... What do you want? Background. I am Bakrosham, agent. Okay. How about you tell me a little bit about your uncle's farm? Yeah, I get it. Code words. Whatever. Here's what you should know. <laughs> I like that he just is just like... I don't give a shit. <laughs> this is this is just performative bullshit. All right, what should, what you should know. Our king is a paranoid. I know, I know. It's treason to even think that sort of stuff. 
but it's true. He always thinks someone is out to get him. The man's had me checking into a different conspiracy every week for the last month. I keep telling him, you're king. You're going to have enemies. Does he listen? Psh. This time, though, there might be something to it. I have found some disturbing information. Disturbing information? My sources tell me that there's a plot, but not against the king. From what I've been able to gather, there will be an attempt made on the Queen Mother's life. I'm not sure who would want to target her. From what I know, she has no enemies in Mournhold. But that's what my sources are telling me. <gasps> Disturbing information again? That's all I know. Do with the information what you will. And tell the big guy hello for me. <laughs> <laughs> Does he say anything else now that we've, like, found out? I don't think so. How about... Anything about Helseth? No. I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's just general shit that we've heard before. Okay, fair enough. What's our little update here? Bakrosham believes that Helseth is generally paranoid, but that this time there may be an assassination attempt planned. The attempt, however, will be on Baron Zaya's life. Right. Okay. I mean, he was wrong. so paranoid that he misses the dudes who are actually going out to kill him, right? Like, there was the stuff with the Royal Guard um, having their own sort of revolt against him. And then, he, he, that went right over his head. But the Nerevarine showing up in town, well, la-dee-da. Better fucking call out a hit. <laughs> Alright, let's head on over to Plaza Brindisi Dorm, and we'll head on back. There we are. I don't think, like... <laughs> I'm not sure if, canonically, I would really want to help him, <laughs> you know? We're just kind of doing this for the sake of actually going through the motions and and seeing what the quest has to offer, right? Because I've never done this shit, right? But in reality, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. All right, reception area over here. There we go. So, and up this way. Let's see the throne room. And should we speak to Tianius about this? The king. Maybe. I think we're meant to talk to Helseth, but let's see what Tianius has to say. There are no more official matters to discuss. You are to report directly to the king himself. Oh, okay. You don't want to talk about any of uh, this shit? Disturbance? No, I can't even talk to him about it, can I? All right, fair enough. King Lalu Helseth, what's up? Ah, Lyle. Have you returned? Have you learned more about that plot? I have. Yes, I expected you would find out as much. Other sources of mine indicate the same thing, and that the attempt will be made tomorrow night. Our mother must be protected at all costs, but I do not wish to tip my hand to these assassins. Here is how we will protect Baron Zaya. All right. It is a little weird that he, how he continually calls her mother to me and says, like, our mother. Mm. All right, protect Baron Zaya. It would be unwise to station more guards outside her doors, as that would alert the killers to our knowledge. Better to catch them in the act. One of our royal guards could be involved in this attempt, so they will be kept occupied elsewhere. You will stay in the antechamber outside of Mother's Chambers tomorrow evening and deal with these assassins when they arrive. Close the door behind you and hide behind the screens so as not to alert them to your presence. Meantime, find out whatever else you can. All right. Huh. Protect Baron Zaya. Anything else? Oh, look, yeah. Wait in the antechamber outside Baron Zaya's room at nightfall and protect her from the assassins. You are to hide behind the screens in the anteroom and make sure to close the door to the room behind you. We do not want to let the assassins know they are expected. In the meantime, find out whatever else you can about the attempt. Report to us when you have completed your task. Okay, Baron Zaya. All right, same stuff. Very well, anything else about the plot? It must be stopped. Your loyal service shall be rewarded. Alright, let's do a quick save. 
Yeah, they gave him like a custom head and everything, similar to Amalexia. Other very important characters. Alright, let's head on over to Barry's room. Let's go back this way, I think? Imperial Cult Services? I don't think so. Let's go this way. How about here? Helsus Chambers. Can we access Barry's place from here at all? I'm not sure. Maybe from Helsus? Let's go in here. Let's see. Door. Alright. No, this is just where he would hang out. Okay. Yeah, weird. Let's see. This way, let's go back into the throne room and back around. There we are. Good. Justice. And then Baron's Eyes Chambers. Okay. Let's see. So, we're meant to go into her actual ass chambers? Or is this the antechamber? I don't think this is the antechamber. Right? It sure as shit doesn't feel like one. All right. Yeah, I think we'll go up into her room and hang out there. I'm not busy now. What do you need? All right. Let's do a quick save here, just in case. All right. Here we are. Ooh, yeah, this must be it. And then we close the door, and then we hide back here behind the screen. All right. We got a quick save popping off. Let's see. And then we need to wait here around night. What time is it? Ooh, shit. It's 12 a.m. Maybe this is good enough. Let's see here. Am I in the right spot? <laughs> Let's check my journal here. I've relayed the information to King Helseth regarding the plot against his mother. He has asked me to wait in the room outside Baron Zaya's chambers tomorrow night and protect her from any attackers. I'm to close both doors in the anteroom and hide behind the screens in the room so as not to alert- Okay, both of them. Fair enough. Does she have anything to say? So, what information have you uncovered about this mysterious plot my son believes is afoot? Plot. Do what you must, my friend. I am not concerned. Yeah, that sounds about like her. <laughs> Alright. Not so much that she really is unconcerned, but that she knows it'll work out. She's She's been through a lot of fucking wild shit. Alright. I don't think we have anything else here. Yeah, okay. Approach so we do need to good man. close that. There we are. Ooh, we got a journal update just as well. Are they coming? Are the assassinos on the way? I'm in the position where King Helseth told me to wait outside of Baron's eyes chambers, and I've closed the door to the room behind me. <gasps> there they are. Oh my god. <laughs> man, they're pretty incompetent. They're just walking into the wall a whole bunch. Oh shit. That's cool as hell. They snuffed out the lights. Supposed to be here somewhere. <laughs> They're stupid as shit. How did they sneak up on me? He told us in the Queen Mother's chambers behind the screen. Am I just gonna wait for them to to appear? No uh oh, Gordon, get him! Fuck him up! Oh, let's turn on the lights a bit. Oh shit! All right, let's get some magicka going. Alright. There we are. Oh, Shazbot. Look at Gordon. Gordon's fucking him up. Alright. Let's see. Let's get some more of these darts. Why not? There we are. Good shit, Gordon. The fucking AoE was killer. Alright. I've defeated the assassins. Huh. True enough. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's put all their shit here on the ground in case we want it later. Right? Why not? Oh shit, look at his ass! Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. There we go. Good. And how about you? Let's see. Who was it? Oh my gosh! It was old lady... <laughs> Arione. Good lord. She ran the local... Egg shop. What the fuck? There we are. Honestly, <laughs> part of me is surprised that, that Queen Baron Zaya didn't even want to, like, come out here and attack him herself in some way. <laughs> right? I mean, she never was, like, a direct fighter, right, from what we'd read. She wasn't, like, a very direct attacking person. Wait, wasn't one of them, like, a male Dunmer? 
Huh. Definitely there was... The Dumber Woman had the appropriate voice actor, but I thought one of them sounded like a male Dumber. I'm not sure, though. All right. What's up, Barry? I did it. Recognized, my good man. Let's see. Plot. It seems that's been taken care of. Good work. <laughs> Damn. All right. Cool. There's a bunch of bodies out here in armor. Do you want any of this, Queen Barry? Do you want some armor or whatever? It's cool. It's Dark Brotherhood armor. It's very form-fitting and very valuable. No? No? Okay. <laughs> all right. Holy shit. That was really neat, wasn't it? How they snuffed out all the, the lights and stuff and the cool dialogue? That's so cool, right? That's like a sign of scripted events to come in future games, right? Like, it's a little taste of things that they eventually keep trying to do more and more of. Very neat. All right. Well, how about when next we come back, we check in with Helseth and company there in the throne room. And for now, we close things out with a little bit of reading. Right? If you'd like to stick around, we will be doing some reading of... How about... Let's see. The Wraith's Wedding Dowry. Have we read this before? I can't read during battle? I'm in battle? Whoa! Is there another one out here? No. Okay. Let's see if I go back this way. Am I still in battle? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Good. How long is this one? Medium length. All right, I'm gonna take a quick drink here. Apologies. All right, I am back. The Wraith's Wedding Dowry by Voltha Gra Yamwort, translated by Apthorn. The poets are right. There is something life-changing about being in love said Kepkajna Gra Minfang, sometimes called the Wraith. I haven't wanted to rob anyone or anything in weeks. Why, the other day I saw the door wide open at a wealthy merchant's house, but my mind was fully occupied with what I should wear on my wedding day. You have been out of the right society for very long now, frowned her friend Cargol approvingly. You never told me what happened to your first husband. You know, the one the shaman gave you. Torn apart by ash ghouls, smiled Kep Kajna dreamily. I was... it was rather sad-ish. But I know nothing like that would happen to Wadwerg. No life of adventure for him. He's practically an imperial. In fact, he is one. <laughs> Did I tell you how we met? Hundreds of times, grumbled Cargol reaching for his flagon. He was your jailer, and he refused you food until you promised to marry him. Have you ever heard of anything so madly romantic in all your life? sighed Kepkajna, and then grew serious. I was going to say that I hope my old friends will wish me well, but as old Basriel used to say, there's no point in hoping for what cannot be. We'll leave with the Imperial Knights for Balmora immediately after the wedding. But as long as we're in Dagon Fell, the gang will find some way of disrupting my love life and bring me back to the light. I know it. As the days approached towards the Wraith's wedding day, there was certainly something sinister in the air that Kepkajna could smell when she was not transported by heady bliss. Dark figures seemed to shift in the shadows and disappear when approached. She recognized the clothing of some beggars near Wadwerg's cottage as costumes, but the mendicants, mendicants hurried away before she could recognize which of her old gang was stalking her. But these moments of apprehension were few. Kepkaj Kepkajna was truly happy making arrangements for the ceremony to be performed at the very dungeon where Wadwerg had imprisoned her. Her father was long since dead, another victim of the Ash Ghouls, but her fiancé's commander volunteered to act in his behalf. Of course, Kepkajna had to supply her own dowry, 
she spent every last mark of her savings of ill-gotten gain to buy her beloved a truly wonderful present. The wedding was set for the stroke of midnight, as is orc tradition. The handmaidens' wives of imperial officers were busily sewing her into her gown of red velvet and fine gold filigree in the mid-morning. Dosetta, one of the handmaidens, remarked that she had heard that Kepkajina had bought Wadwork a truly beautiful gift for her dowry. Let me show it to you, Kepkajina giggled, dashing from the room half-dressed to her hidden alcove. The present had been stolen. The women were horrified, but the wraith found herself merely irritated, not surprised. This was truly the old gang's style. They knew that a wedding ceremony without a dowry was marked as unlucky. She asked her handmaidens to finish dressing her quickly while she pondered what the burglars would have done with her treasure. The whole region was honeycombed with secret lairs and abandoned sites thieves used to store their loot. There were obvious places, of course, but after much reflection, she thought of where she would have put it under similar circumstances. Under the handmaids, once the handmaids had finished, Kepkajna bade them to make certain that the ceremony went on as scheduled, and not to fret, as she might be a little late. She wrapped herself in a shawl to protect her gown from dungeon dust and set off for the shrine of Malakath. The wraith had never before attempted to rob her own friends, and though she was peeved at them for trying to ruin her happiness, she had no interest in hurting them physically. Her style was to avoid conflict, though she knew it would be inevitable. The lessons her mentor Cargol had given her had helped her avoid the lances and blades of guards and imperial knights over the years. Now, she would see if they would allow her to survive a den of thieves and the unknown dangers of the shrine, without, most importantly, ruining her dress. <laughs> the desolate place was so empty as she delved into it that she feared she might have made a miscalculation. It was not until she found the small room hidden down a long corridor that she knew she was at the right place, and that it was well suited for an ambush. She grabbed the chest with the with treasure within, with her treasure within, and turned to face the assault. Two of her old gang, Yoram and Your High, or Your Eye, the Red Guard twin brother and sister, were outside the door as she came from the room. They knew the wraith better than to taunt her and immediately attacked. Yoram struck out with a left thrust of his blade while your eye, your eye sought to rush her. The wraith neatly sidestepped your eye while dropping her weight to her rear left leg, shifting her right shoulder to, to the left to slip past Yoram's strike. The twins crashed into one another and Kepkajina passed swiftly on. Almost immediately, she was set on by the Argonian Binyar, his mace whistling through the air at her head. They had never much liked one another. The wraith snapped into a duck, so the mace whacked with a tremendous clamor against the stone wall. Binyar was thrown off balance, giving her a few seconds lead, hurrying up the passage. Ahead, she could smell the fresh night air. The last of her dowry's defenders was Soro... So, Sorogth, an orc with whom she had shared a brief romance. It was he who Kepkajna knew had masterminded the theft. In a way and in context, she thought his devotion to her misery was rather sweet. At the moment, though, she was most concerned with avoiding his barbed axe that seemed ideal for breaking her dress's fine stitchwork and the flesh beneath. Bending her knees slightly, bobbing to avoid strikes to the head, weaving her head to confuse Sorogth of her next move, shuffling her feet arrhythmically, the wraith made an impossible target. She ducked inside his thrusts, sidestepped his swings, and then sidestepped his thrusts and ducked his swings. And erratic, as erratic as she tried to make her defensive moves, Sorogth still kept pace with her refusing to budge from his position at the dungeon outlet. Midnight was coming, 
the Wraith finally decided that she must end the confrontation. When Sorox swung out next, she sidestepped to her left, swayed down, and ducked her head, so the axe whistled over her right shoulder. In that instant, his right side was exposed, and she reluctantly smashed the chest hard into his torso. There was not enough time for Kepkajna to see if she had killed him or merely knocked him unconscious. In truth, she thought of nothing else but rushing to her wedding ceremony. At precisely midnight, Wadwerg and Kepkajna were united together. He was delighted with her dowry gift, a fine suit of armor that would make him the envy of other Imperial jailers. Even more, he was enchanted by his wife's tale of retrieving it from the Shrine of Malakath. <laughs> Did it occur to you to put on the armor when you knew that it was an ambush? He asked. I didn't want to dent your present, she replied between kisses, and I certainly didn't want to wrinkle my gown. <laughs> what a weird comical tale! Jeez! Alright, I had no idea. When I read, every time I would see this book and I would read the title, The Race Wedding Dowry, I thought it would be a lot more sinister, but this is totally a comedy. <laughs> Alright, yeah, cool. And these are very odd-ass names, right? Kepkajna? And especially Wadwerg for an Imperial? <laughs> Alright. Very, very bizarre. Okay. Well, when next we come back, we'll let Helseth know about all of this shit, and we'll continue on with the next optional quest to see where it takes us. Now, of course, Morrowind Mondays is a weekly affair, and I personally like to use it as a sort of time capsule from time to time, so... Hell yes, Black Lives Matter, justice for George Floyd and Breonna Taylor in my old hometown, and really anybody that's ever suffered under police brutality. I wanted to tack this on here at the end of the recording so that if there was ever any doubt, people definitely now know where I stand. Times are already hard on top of all this, so do what you can. If you're going out into it, try to be careful, wear a mask if you can, and of course, take care of each other. <laughs>